Hello YouTubes, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a repair on an ASUS GA502. This is a 15 inch ASUS Zephyrus gaming laptop. The problem is, is that the keyboard does not function at all. Furthermore, the power button does not light up and actually the on indicator light here does not light up only the charging indicator lights up. Very interesting. I found the problem and we're going to be showing you what's going on. Let's jump right in. Now, in order to fix this problem, we have to take the laptop apart a little bit, starting with the screws that hold on the bottom cover. I like to tape the screws next to their locations so I don't lose track of them. And now we can just pop the bottom cover off using a pick. Once we're inside the laptop, we'll disconnect the battery. And then we'll remove the six screws that hold it in place. And now we'll disconnect the Raven cables for the backlight, the touchpad, and the keyboard itself. And then we can unplug the speakers, followed by the display panel and the power button. And then we'll unplug our Wi-Fi antennas. And we'll take out these three screws that are holding the motherboard down. And we'll go ahead and tape them in place. We have to remove two screws for each of these fans. We have to get this hinge out of the way in order to get to the screw underneath it. And now we can get this whole motherboard out of here. We'll go ahead and extract this NVMe drive because we have to do a bit of a surgery. Okay, now with the help of a schematic that I found online, I have determined that this chip has failed. So we're going to have to replace it. I had a small camera mishap, but as you can see, I covered the surrounding area with aluminum tape and applied an SMD removal alloy to the pins of the chip. This makes it easy to extract the chip using hot air. I managed to find the replacement chip itself for under $5 and just a few dollars shipping on AliExpress. I could not find it anywhere else. And so now we can go ahead and put our new chip on. This is the first time I've replaced a 44 pin SMD chip, so I'm just kind of winging it and hoping I don't break my buddy's laptop. And there it is all soldered in. In theory, we can put this laptop all back together and everything will work. Putting it back together is just the reverse of disassembling it, so we'll just put some music on and speed through this part. Feel free to skip to the end and see if it works.
And the moment of truth. Okay, so we have a power light here, in here, and we have a keyboard that's lit up. Look at that. And I bet if I push a button. Look at that. Perfect. So there you have it. Replacement of the IT8299, also known as U3503, did in fact fix all of the symptoms that we had. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you would. If you know somebody who's had this problem with their ASUS ROG, please tell me about it in the comments. Thanks for sticking around. I'll see you guys next time.